Hey guys, so um, I asked in the Mrs Brimble's Facebook group if you'd like to see a week two flip through of my October daily or whether you would like to wait till the finish and the poll was to see a week two flip through. So I am here with said week two flip through. Um, so I just need to find where I left off. So I left off here on the 7th so we're in going forward so this is that um tracing paper that i bound in i was going to leave it plain and then i was like mm, i don't know <laughs> i don't know then i thought about painting it and then i decided on stickers because i have got these leaf stickers that somewhat and some a lovely kind person um, a YouTube subscriber, she sent me a, um, what, did, what do people call that? Like a gift parcel? I don't know, but ages ago, and I'm talking years ago, <laughs> years. And I have been hoarding these stickers because I absolutely adore them, I adore them. And um, I've used some in the past, I made like a bookmark and things, and I just thought, enough is enough I can't stop hoarding stuff you know you need to use some things and um, yeah that's what I've been doing I have been shopping my stash and um, I just added those and I really really like how they look just a few that's like you know kind of tumbling leaves and I put one on the reverse side um, but I like that you can see the others like shining through as well so that's really cool um yes so um the 8th of october was the day after we got back from birmingham and we just had like a really really lazy day we we're all a bit tired um just had a lazy day and john cooked a roast dinner and john is amazing at cooking roast dinners um and i thought that was photo worthy you know totally photo worthy and just plonked it down bit of washi tape nothing you know fiddly or fancy or anything like that um and quite a lot of week two is like that to be honest with you so 9th of october just um writing there i had this um tag uh from that um ephemera pack that i showed you before the um the full one from crepe paper and I really, really liked it and I wanted to use it somewhere. So it's just stuck in there because it's pretty. And if you can't read it very well, it says fall is my most favourite time of the year. And I just whacked in some washi tape and a sticker. This um, was Project Life card that was bound in, if you remember. And the photo for the 9th of October is on the back of this. Um, card it's a foot selfie of me and the kid um, we went for a walk and we it was really nice and autumnal and we found some conkers and um, being a child like she wanted to pick conkers up and stuff which was fine but um, we try and teach her that you don't kind of exploit stuff but also she wants to have fun in nature so um, we found as many conkers as we could. She put a couple in her pocket to take home and the rest we made a nice little pile with for two reasons. One for art and two for Mr. to leave for Mr. Mr. Squirrel. Um, hence the squirrel washi tape. Um, it wasn't until I got home that I then started to wonder whether the squirrel would be totally put off by these conkers because they smell of human. So then I was like, hmm, have we actually done a really bad thing? But um, that is what we did and... Um, you know it was a fun activity for us and so i just hope it didn't impact the natural world or anything but the part of the wood that we went to to be honest with you in the whole time i've been walking there which is a lot i've never seen any squirrels so um i mean i normally see squirrels on our walks but not in this particular wood there isn't many trees so who knows if there are even any squirrels and it was quite a fun thing to document because literally every time we picked a conker up, another conker literally fell from the ground. I kid you not. And we we found absolutely loads. We found even more after this photo was taken. 
so the 10th of October, the um, Fluffies, Florence and Luna, were having a really, really nice snuggle. I'm really, really conscious that before having a child, um, my journals and like things like this were full of more me and John and the things that me and John got up to and the Fluffies and everything. And since having a child, it the shift, has, the focus has shifted more to her than everything else and I kind of wanted to address some of that balance because my fluffies are also my kids they're still part of the family and so I wanted to kind of make sure that they were in there too and me and John had a really snuggly evening we got out the blankets and John put on some records um and so we were having a really snuggly evening and the girls were having a really snuggly evening so I kind of thought it tied in but I guess that's just what happens, I, I suppose, when you have a kid that you kind of end up doing, you know, documenting a lot of the child and stuff as well. So I don't regret it at all. I just wanted to kind of start evening up some of the balance. <laughs> um, so talking of kid, it then shifts focus again back to the kid. Um, so we had a painting day and I always let her have free reign and express herself creatively. Um, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I do educate her as well and be like, okay, let's paint a square, let's paint a circle. But a lot of the time, I just let her do her own thing. I put out a load of different materials for her. I always let her choose her colours, whatever colour palette she wants to, what's speaking to her. She always uses those. And... Um, I get out a variety of like brushes and sponges and stamps and that kind of stuff and she just does what she wants to do. On this particular day she chose a palette that was just amazingly autumnal. It was black and blue and purple and green glitter. So I don't know if you can see. It's like absolutely gorgeous. And she was painting away and then she... I always put um, the paint on a paper plate. And these paper plates look absolutely beautiful because I use them time and time again so they get really, really layered up. Anyway, she put her hands, decided to, oh, she wanted to do paint, fingerprinting. And so she put her hands in the paint and just was just like smothering it everywhere. So she ended up with this like, this, this piece here. Um, so I took a photo of her creating it and her hands were really like messy. So she held her, out her hands for me to, to photograph. Um, and because she'd already got paint on her hands, I decided to get some hand prints from her because we haven't done that for a while. Um, and so I've got a hand print there in my book in all of those beautiful colours. So she literally put her hand straight, so it got blobs of the paint on the palette and she put her hand straight into the palette. So her hand picked up several of the colours and then we just did hand prints. We got a few hand prints and... I yeah I cut one out to stick in my journal which is really really cute I thought and I this here is a piece of her art that I cut down um, to put in my journal and I had this massive like <laughs> moment where I was like oh my god like I really want to cut that out and put it in my journal because it's amazing and then I was like oh, should I cut up my child's artwork is that like really mean and then I thought well actually it's not because she paints nearly every single day so I do have like a massive massive stack of paintings and then I thought well actually it's not like I'm cutting it up and chucking it away I'm cutting it up and I'm putting it in my memory keeping thing so I then felt okay about doing it and I'm really glad I did it because I absolutely, absolutely adore it and you know there'll be many more paintings as well so it's all glittery, all green glitter on top of that purple, blue and black, I just, it's absolutely amazing and very Halloween-y so I was well impressed. Um, so there's that and then on the 12th of October, my parents arrived. We went out shopping in the morning and um, to get a few bits. And we went to Milton Keynes, to Ikea, to get some bits from there. And I popped next, to the, next door to the Asda, which is huge. I don't go, I don't do shopping, like my food shopping, out of the house. I do it online. So I don't really often get to look in shops. Plus, this one was a lot bigger. And I saw these Kellogg's Unicorn Fruit Loops. And every um, every week at the weekend, we usually choose a treat that we'd like each. 
and it varies like sometimes I choose a bottle of Diet Coke sometimes I will choose a bar of chocolate on this occasion I chose some Fruit Loops <laughs> and I thought that was document document worthy because they were cute so I stuck that in my journal because at the end of the day this is my journal and as I was saying to you kind of like I'm trying to like balancing it out because yes I think it'd be really good for um Litlin to look back on on things that she did but I also want her to know more about her parents and what makes us us and what kind of shaped her upbringing um and yeah as I said my parents arrived and so from now on <laughs> you'll see that um my pages aren't necessarily as pretty and decorate decorated or as much or as in-depth in terms of writing because although I did manage to keep it up every single night I wanted to spend like more time with them and we were talking and doing stuff and so it was literally like a quick slap a photo down I might go back to some of these pages and embellish them with washi tape and stickers and stuff but if I don't I don't it just reflects where I was at at the time I decided not to do anything with this card because I absolutely adore it and I didn't want to cover it up and I couldn't decide what I wanted to do on it anyway and so I thought sod it I'm just gonna leave it I love it leave it you know I don't love the reverse side of it though and I couldn't think about what to do with that either really so I just whacked a sticker on it and I'm calling it done I like how it looks now with a sticker on so um yeah the 13th we um went to like a, a children's group and then we just stayed at home and we did lots of playing and stuff because my, my parents only come over every so often this is the fourth time they've been over this year though but um, <laughs> um they've had things going on and stuff um so yeah we kind of like it was really nice for little to have some like snuggle time with them and she was educating them on room on the broom while my parents were here we watched room on the broom every single day because she's well into Room on the Broom now, which makes me so happy, because I love it. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was really nice to get like a nice snuggly photo of her chilling out with my parents. And as you can see, like minimalism to the extreme going on on these pages. <laughs> You've got to do what's important to you, and that might be this, or it might be spending the time with the people you're documenting about, you know? The way I looked at it is I, you know, I wanted to spend time with them and I can go back and embellish it if I want to. If not, it's not lost. I've still documented it. So the 14th of October, I'm going to cover that over then because that'll be another flip. The 14th of October was a Saturday. We went to Burwash Manor, which is near Cambridge for their Apple Day. Had a really, really nice time. Um, went on tractor rides, sampled loads of apple juice and cider, watched them pressing it, tried loads of varieties of different apples. Um, it was really, really, really nice day. We thoroughly enjoyed it. And then we went um, somewhere else for a um, picnic and a lunch. And Tiddler really, really enjoys taking um, photos. And she took this picture of my mum and dad on her own with my camera. And so really, really impressed with her photo taking skills and then because it was apple day a couple of apple stickers calling it done and i actually really really like how this page looks so yeah that's my week two flipper um if you want to see a week three flip then let me know um in the comments below or in the facebook group um if not i will just do a flip when this thing is completed but I am really, really happy to do uh, a week three flip. I enjoy looking back on it and hearing the sound of my own voice. So um, if you want a week three flip, then just let me know. I hope your October dailies are coming on really, really well. And if you want to share in the Facebook group your video links or your photos, your experiences, your hints, your tips, your help, I've lost track, then feel free to use the happy place it's a group for you to talk about all things crafty and creative, so um, feel free to share anything you want to in there. See you soon, guys. Bye.